Hey everybody, Spiro here from SpiroCoag.com. This video will teach you how to create a YouTube playlist. Creating a playlist on YouTube is an easy task. But in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create a playlist the right way. So it's going to help you grow your YouTube channel. It's going to help you get more watch time, get more views, get more subscribers, and most importantly, get more leads. So watch this video all the way till the end, because I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. Moving forward from here, I'm going to jump into my computer and you're going to follow along as I'm going through the step by step process of creating a playlist that will help you grow your business. But before we get into it, I just want to let you know that here at my channel, we talk about how to make money online, how to quit your nine to five and earn your freedom. So if you want to start your online business, grow your YouTube channel and make money online, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. So let's go on to computer and let's do this together. All right, guys, we are now inside my computer and over at youtube.com. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to use one of my smaller channels called WP Society. So let's start it by clicking on our channel icon and then click on YouTube Studio. Once you are inside your channel dashboard to set up playlist, first click on playlists here on the left menu and it will open a new tab in your browser with all the playlists listed if you have any. Now click on new playlist and then in this model pop up, write your playlist title. Right here underneath the title, you can select whether you want this playlist to be public, private or unlisted. Public playlists are indexed. That means that anyone can search for them and view them. Once published, they also appear under your channel profile under the playlist tab. Unlisted playlists are for playlists that you don't want to appear in search results. These playlists are not visible on your YouTube channel, but they can be viewed by anyone with the playlist URL link. Private playlists are fully private and nobody can see or access them but you. So I'm going to create this playlist under the private because I don't want anyone to see this playlist and I'll probably delete it after this tutorial. When you select desired privacy settings, just click create and it will redirect you into your YouTube playlist. Now it's time to add some videos into our new playlist. To do so, just click on edit next to your channel icon and name here on the left. If for whatever reason you don't see edit button on your channel, just like I don't see it right now, you'll have to type this little snippet at the end of the URL. So add and disable underscore polymer equals true and then press enter. And now we have access to all advanced settings of this YouTube playlist. First, click on add videos. And here you can search for any YouTube videos. For example, I'm going to add one from Roberto Blake. So I have to type Roberto Blake and then click search. Now I had to add one video from here into my playlist. I'm going to repeat the same process for my own videos. So I'm going to go again, add videos, and then I'm going to click here on your YouTube videos. I will select first two and then click add videos. And now you can say that you have created your first YouTube playlist, but to get most of it, keep watching because I'm going to teach you how to optimize this playlist that will help you build your authority on YouTube and eventually drive some leads for your business as well. Now, before we go to the final step, I just want to quickly go through the advanced playlist settings. Here again, you can edit playlist privacy and playlist order. By default, playlist order is manual. And as you add new videos, they go on the bottom of the playlist. What I recommend is to add new videos to the top of the playlist. So just tick on this option. In additional options, you can also select if playlist is a part of official series of videos, as well as playlist embedding settings. In the auto add tab, you can define rules that will automatically add your new videos into your playlist. And it can be done based on three rules. Title contains some word, description contains some word, or video contains a specific tag. Collaborations are available only for public and unlisted playlists. To activate collaborations, you have to turn collabs on and share a link with whoever you want to invite. When you're done with your playlist settings, just click save. Now it's time for a final step in process of creating a great playlist writing an appealing title and keyword rich description. First, let's edit your playlist title. Blog tutorial sounds too boring. So you might want to edit and you might make it more interesting. Something like how to start and grow your blog beyond the basics by Spiro Coak. And that now looks much better. Into description, you might want to add something like this. And I'm going to copy paste my playlist template, uh, which is by the way available for free download and make sure you check the link down below in the description of this video uh, where I'm going to leave a link and you can get hands on this playlist template as well. Okay, I'm not going to read you this whole playlist template text to you, but I would rather describe you what your playlist description should have. So at the beginning, you want to write a good and rich introduction where you want to highlight all the benefits for viewers and let them know what they can expect out of this playlist. 
straight after introduction, you want them to take an action. They're most probably already your subscribers if they're watching one of your playlists, but you still want to offer them link to subscribe. And then first underneath, you want to offer them a free gift for watching your playlist. It works best if you offer them a free cheat sheet, ebook, free training, or maybe template, but it has to be something related to your playlist. Now, first underneath, I like to post previous videos and promote my second channel if I have some. And down below, you just continue with more free stuff your playlist and then some premium stuff and tools that you use. Your premium stuff and tools that you use, obviously you wanna use uh, tools and uh, premium courses and content that you know that works. Uh, so make sure that you also chuck in your affiliate links because most probably as your channel grows, uh, this will be one of the sources of your revenue. At the very end, don't forget to add disclaimers, one general one and one affiliate disclaimer as well. And that's it, we've optimized our playlist. Eventually, if you provide translations for your videos, you can also translate your playlist simply by clicking on these three vertical dots and then on a drop down, click on a translate playlist info and now just select your language and enter your translation. You can change playlist thumbnails too, but you will have to select thumbnail from one of your videos. So hover over video, then click on this more button on the right hand side and then click set as playlist thumbnail. As you can see, playlist thumbnail is updated. And that's us guys. Thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. I hope this was useful to you and that you've created a great playlist for your YouTube channel that will help your channel grow, get more exposure and bring your viewers and subscribers better user experience. Now guys, before I knock off, I want to invite you to comment down underneath with uh, your newly created playlist so I can review it and eventually give you some more advices on it. Also, for everyone out there who wants to speed up their YouTube growth, I've created a YouTube SEO cheat sheet that will teach you how to find the best keywords and how to optimize your videos for best rankings. I will leave a link to that uh, cheat sheet down below in the description of this video so you can find and access it. Uh, and with that being said, guys, we got to the end of this video. Uh, thanks for watching one more time. Uh, if you liked it, smash the like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you again. Cheers. Thanks for watching.